It is important that the suction pump is cleaned properly after it has been used. First, unplug the electrical plug from the wall socket. Then, remove the tubing by gripping the tubing connectors and pulling the tubing off. First, flush the tubes through with hot soapy water. Then, use a brush to clean the collection jar and cap. While you are cleaning, make sure that all connection openings are free of blockages. Now fill the jar with 200 ml of antiseptic solution. Fit the bottle properly to the cap and rinse thoroughly. Now reconnect all tubing. Clean the outside of the unit by simply wiping it with a damp cloth or a mild disinfectant solution. Take care not to soak the unit. Wipe the electrical cord and plug. Do not immerse them in water. Change the filter when any discoloring is visible. Wind the tubing around the pump or place it in a clean bag. Remember that most bottle lids, bottles and tubing can be autoclaved, so send them to be sterilized at least once a month or after use on an infective case. Note that alkaline detergents and solvent-based cleaning agents should not be used for disinfection and cleaning. <music> Monthly preventative maintenance of the pump includes checking the vacuum and flow, as well as checking the condition of the gasket in the bottle cap. Checking the vacuum and flow is done with an empty collection jar. First turn the vacuum control knob to maximum and then switch on the unit. Note the indicated vacuum on the vacuum gauge. Now block the suction inlet of the collection jar. An increase of 65 kPa should be reached within a short time, typically between 6 to 10 seconds. After that, the gauge should continue to rise until the maximum vacuum is attained, which should not be less than 80 kPa. Ensure that the rubber gasket in the bottle cap is not broken or perished. If necessary, refer the suction unit to a qualified technician for replacement of the gasket. Once a year, the unit should be referred to a qualified technician for inspection and maintenance. The following disposals and parts should be ordered on time and kept in stock. Filters, which are also called microfilters, silicon tubing and suction catheters. There are a number of important electrical safety measures which the operator must observe at all times. These are Never use electrical equipment, cords or plugs when damaged. Never remove a plug from a power socket unless equipment and socket are switched off. Never remove plug from socket by pulling the cord. Always grip the plug. Arrange the cord away from the traffic area to prevent tripping. To protect against electrical shock, never immerse plugs, cords or electrical equipment in water or liquid. If the unit will not start after being switched on, carry out the following steps. Check the electrical supply to the wall socket. Then switch on the wall socket. If this does not solve the problem, then check the lead and plug top for damage. If the problem persists, report the fault so that a qualified technician can be contacted. If you find that there is no suction available despite a KPA reading on the gauge, Check and clean all tubing and tubing connections. Check the bottle and fit it properly. 
check bottle gaskets and clean if necessary. If the problem persists, report the fault so that a qualified technician can be contacted. When the motor is running but there is a weak or no vacuum indicated when the patient tube is closed off, it means that there is a pressure leak somewhere in the circuit. Detailed instructions for locating the pressure leak are included in the printed version of this video. They can also be found in the user reference manual. If the fault cannot be rectified after all the checks have been carried out, the unit should be referred to a suitably qualified person for further inspection. Make sure you specify what you have already tested and which parts you have already replaced. <laughs>